Hello folks, welcome back to Light Source Engraving. If it's your first time here, thank you for stopping in. I just got back from vacation and I had a special package here waiting for me. So how about an unboxing video? I haven't done one for a while. We're gonna need an unboxing knife. I wanted a knife that was bigger than the box. Now, around here, that's not too hard to do. So today, we'll be using this guy. Should be able to get a very nice unboxing with this appropriately sized blade. It is perfect for the box. Now, what are we unboxing? I have been sent a package from Rotoboss, who makes rotaries for lasers. They make various types of rotaries. I'm sure it will be the best rotary I've ever used. I am confident in that. But we're gonna unbox it, see what we have, talk about what model it is and how it compares to other, other models. And then I'll go through and give my first impressions once I hook it up to a laser and we'll run a few tests. So this will be an unboxing and initial overview, and then I'll do a few more videos on it so that I can put it through its paces. So I was sent this rotary by Jason at Rotoboss. He is the owner. In order to evaluate this rotary and give my feedback. And now, he wants honest feedback. He has no influence over my review and opinions in any way. So I'm going to put it through its paces, give you my honest impressions, and let you know how I feel about it. So hopefully it can help you decide when you are searching for a rotary. Enough of that. Let's just get into this box. I can't wait to see what's in it. And here we go. First slice. You are witnessing... True first unboxing of the Rotoboss. Yeah. Talon rotary attachment. First off, I gotta say I like the packaging. How can you go wrong packaging and foam? I get my water filters from a company that uses packaging. I'm on well water. And they use the foam packaging like this, and it's amazing. Keeps, keeps the big UV bulbs from uh, getting broke during transit, for sure. Oh, my. That looks beautiful. Here's a quick peek inside of there. And then we're going to get a shot of everything close up here. Thank you for your purchase. We want to see your success. Please share your experience and creations on social media. And then he's got the social media links here and customer service information right on the inside flap of the box. You can cut that out and save it, throw it in with your, with your um, accessories and everything else that comes with the laser. Actually, I think there's a storage bag. Yes, there is. So you can put this in with your storage bag and you'll have instant access to customer service. That is a nice feature. I like that. All right, I will take our unboxing knife and put it in its sheath. Do not want any injuries while filming and unboxing. That would be bad. All right. So the first thing I'm going to pull out of here is a handy storage bag for your rotary. First thing I'm going to pull out is a storage bag. This could be a storage bag for your rotary. Yes. There is a front pocket and then the main pouch. This is very nice. Keep everything handy. Here is a new t-shirt for me to wear in future videos. Let me get this down where you can see it. This has Rotoboss Rotary Attachments logo right on the chest. And on the back, we have Turn and Burn. 
Jason at Roto Boss also has a podcast called Turn and Burn. So check that out. I'll try and remember to leave a link to that in the description. JDR Custom Designs, your one stop professional craftsman. One stop professional craftsman. Roto Boss Rotary Attachments, Rotary Accessory Kit. Then here we have probably the most important thing in this box would be some Turnabo Gold Bears. Uh, if they're not your favorite gummy bear, why not? I mean, these are the best. And then we also have some other accessories. These are all packaged up. Here's some thumb screws. Plates with thumb screws. And grippers, more grippers, threaded ends. These would go in to hold a cup or whatever in place. You also have a handy dandy level. And this looks to be a tape measure. Yes, it is. There, I have a little tape measure. We have some information on the new Apple Air purifiers and a nice little sticker sheet. Very cool. All right, that's a nice box of goodies. It's terrific. Okay. I'll just do that. Now we have the business part of this unit. These grippers I was talking about, here they are. Different size. Here's your chuck jaws. Here's the way that those spin and tighten. Wow, that is smooth. So we have three pieces of rail. Sorry, I'm just trying to get you some good angles of this. Here we have our four pin attachment for our Galvo rotary port. My Galvo rotary port. Looks like there are some height adjustments with uh, screws here. We have some nice metal feet on the base of this rotary. As you can see, this does slide and adjust back and forth based on your needs. Those are T screws, so yes, we can adjust those as needed. For that track, so I have to learn a little bit about what all these things do. Open means turn it this way, close means turn it that way. This is really smooth, by the way. Like, extremely smooth. Look how fast that opens and closes. Let me get it started again. Here we go. Fully close. Fully open. That is smooth. Wow. Just that's impressive. I could play with that all day. Look at how nicely machined that is. Here we have a couple thumb screws to adjust the angle of the rotary. So we can get that locked in place. Tighten it down in two different positions. And then if need be, we have the same slots mirrored and holes mirrored as just on this side. Very nice. Nice looking stepper motor there. Thanks. All right, and that is what we have in our box. Let's go through some of these accessories on their own and how they fit into using this Rotoboss Talon. And then we'll get ready to put it to its first test. I'm not gonna open this accessory up at the moment, but you know what to do with those. Thanks. I will open this little bag. I just wanna see this little tape measure in action. We do have a nice handy dandy level. Thank you. I like this, it does have a little clip on it, so you can clip that uh, somewhere where you won't lose it. Here's the little tape measure. 
So it does lock out and then push the button to retract. It's a very nice handy little tool. Okay, you can see our soft jaws. They are pre-installed. Then there are two additional sets of soft jaws, different size. Then uh, unboxing, uh, unbagging teeth. That's what those are. No knife needed. So here's the difference in the size. You can see. If you have that on the rotary compared, it's really definitely smaller. And let me give a close up. And then we have the third size. Oh. Okay. This is the same diameter as this one. It's just shorter. But longer, excuse me. And it's smaller diameter than the pre-installed, but longer. See? What accessories you receive are going to depend on what package you order and what configuration. So clarify that if you have any questions with Rotoboss before ordering. So I don't want to tell you you get something then when in fact you do not. Okay, I went ahead and opened the additional accessories so I didn't have to mess around with doing that. So here are the extension pieces. So if we're working with something larger than your standard 30 ounce tumbler, let's say we have a dog bowl and we need these to extend. So this is, these are the pieces that we'll use to get that additional length between the jaws. And to put these on, it's really simple switch you to a different camera angle and show you. So we'll take out whatever piece we have in here and then we'll look at these extensions and you'll see that there are threaded holes and there are non-threaded holes. So the non-threaded holes are what we want to place right over top of the existing jaws and then determine how much additional length you need to extend the jaws. And then at that point, I'm just going to pick the middle one and pick this one. And at that point, we could screw that down. Okay. And then in the threaded piece, we add our soft jaw. And just like that, we have that jaw extended. But now if we did this all the way around, obviously we're going to have some plenty of room to work with larger objects. And then with a larger object, you can still open and close these jaws with one hand while you're holding your object in the other. Something else I did notice as I was investigating I was wondering, like, what exactly is this button? Well, just like you'd have on your angle grinder to change a blade, Maybe. this stops the chuck from moving. The chuck's moving, and this is stuck. You can just hold this down and use that to untighten your adjustment ring. You got big moves which is very handy. So you don't need to find an extra tool or anything else to unlock your jaws. Now, this base is great for your CO2 entry. If you have a big enough galvo table, you can certainly use this on your galvo table. But let's say I'm gonna take this over to my fiber laser and it's a compact one and it's the all-in-one and I don't have the room for this piece. At that point, what we do, is remove these two bolts here, and we remove 
the chuck mm -hmm. from the base. And then included is this angled piece. What we will then do is attach these bolts. All right, so let's say we're going to use this on our galvo, and we don't have room for this extended base like we would have in a CO2 gantry. I'm using the compact galvo all-in-one system, and I have a small base. What do I do? At this point, we remove these two bolts, but we remove these two bolts, and then we bolt the chuck to this plate. This plate then has slots for adjustability to position it exactly where you need it on your galvo table. So let me zoom out a little bit. So if this was sitting on your galvo table, you can adjust it up and down, right and left, whichever way. With this bolt, with a chuck bolted to this plate, and have it locked down tight on your Galvo laser. Another thing I'm very happy about is the amount of cord provided to get to the rear of your Galvo laser or whatever laser you're going to be using it in. There's plenty of cord there that is nice. I don't have to have an extension. I used to have it. Uh, rotary that I had to have an extension to get it to work with my CO2 gantry. It was a pain in the butt. A complete setup for a gantry, Galvo. I have extensions for whether it be a dog bowl or a really big mug or a jug. So we pretty much have everything we need here. All good. And again, when you're ordering, be sure and check the configuration so you get the accessories that you want. And if there are, there are some additional accessories on the website that you may want to add as well. All right, so let's get this set back up to the stock configuration. See how it holds a big bug. I'm used to using the three draw, draw chuck. We only have three points of contact. It puts a lot more stress on a glass at those three points. Now we'll have four points distributing the stress out to an additional point. It also provides more support as the rotary is turning. So I think this is gonna be great for heavier objects without having to have some sort of piece on the other end supporting the base of the cup, tumbler, glass, whatever it is. So right now, I'm not worried about having the angle correct or anything like that. This is just testing this heavy glass beer stein, this beer mug because we have four jaws that will tighten down and grab this from the outside and hold it in place. So we just need a little extra clearance. So I'm gonna move these to the outside. I do like this mix for I have an extreme amount of adjustability by having these posts that look like your traditional jewelry rotary but function as a chuck rotary. And then having the extensions, you can do a dog bowl. You could do a half gallon jug. Get this guy loose and ready to attach. Again, you are able to do this with one hand. Cut. And there we have it. Now, I'm going to prop this up in the air a little bit just for demonstration purposes. And all it takes is two thumb screws that I can't even see them. I know where they're at because, like I said, it's mirrored on this side. See, there's a screw there and one here. And there we go. It's all done, let's see. Now all we have to do is see if this motor is powerful enough to spin that handle all the way up without losing any steps. And I'm pretty confident that it will be, but it's so smooth. Look at that. All right, so we know that it holds the glass. Now we just wanna see how 
it turns and burns. All right, let's move over to the laser. Okay, we are over here at the laser and I'm gonna do this setup live. I've never used this rotary before. I've never tried to set it up. So I want to get the first initial experience as authentic as I can. One thing I noticed whenever I took the rotary off of the, uh, off of the base, I thought it was just held on with those two screws. It was just kind of setting there it, with the lighting. I just didn't notice. But this is what the base looks like. See how that's split? Or the mount, I should say. The mount for the talon looks like. It's split. So it actually has your base sandwiched in between those two pieces. And it is solid. The threaded holes are actually on this side. So when you stick your bolt through there and thread it, it's threading into the back side and creating not only kind of a clamping force, but also two points where it's not gonna wobble. It's just solid. I found that to be an excellent design. So let's load this into the bottom slot on the mount and the top slot on the base, or hole, I should say. Need dandy driver. This gives those a little turn to tighten them down. It doesn't take much. And that's it. That sucker's locked in place. That is excellent. And I have plenty of cord to put it anywhere I want to on this galvo. I'm not too worried about this particular galvo being centered directly over the rotary because it slides. So I can center this the galvo up just by sliding the galvo forward and backwards. Um, what I'm more concerned is it being lined up approximately at the center where the cup is going to be. So that's going to put us just over here on the edge. Okay, folks, I have my rotary set up here. So now what we need to do is level it. So what I'm going to, I'm going to use the level that came with the rotary. It sits on there very nice. You can see that it does have some little feet on it, so it'll sit right top dead center on your on your cup. I'll loosen. Whoops. I'll loosen these thumb screws on the other side so that we can gently turn this down to level. It's pretty good without my reading glasses on. All right, we are locked in solid. We are level. I thought I would just test the circumference out with this little tape measure. Let's see how it measures up. Two fifty one. Two fifty one. Now, here's a tool that I use often. I'll put a link in the description for this, but this is a center finder tool, so you can find the center an object, but it's also handy for getting a quick measurement of the diameter. And basically pop it on the end of your cup glass, whatever, line the end of the ruler up, and then you can look and see that this is 80 millimeters. But if you need to find the center of the circle, you can use that as well. So 80 millimeters is what we'll set that up as in light burn. And I am going to be using my fiber laser today to engrave this glass. Okay, I had to switch off the fiber laser. I recently installed a new source in this laser and I don't have the settings correct and the lens calibration done. Since I switched everything around, I totally forgot. And my that's the 80 watt. The 60 watt is out in my truck. I haven't brought it back in from vacation yet. So I'm just gonna run it on a UV laser and use a bigger glass. Um, one of these little flower base type things. But I just set it up the same way. It's just on the other side. I thought I had it level, but apparently I don't. So let's fix that.
No, oh, you can actually see that UV. Because even whenever it's off, it's still on and outputs just a little bit of beam. And you can actually see that on that level level. All right. Now, should be ready to go. Let me load in the proper setting, the graphic, and then we'll run this. Okay, like I said, I switched to the UV and looks like we have a successful burn and the rotary did a great job. I really like it. That whole long glass stayed in place through the whole burn. So, turn and burn, as Jason would say. All right, folks, that is the end of my video for first impressions. So you got to see this glass spinning around. The rotary did perfect. It didn't slip. Uh, it kept the glass level the whole time. It didn't slip out. Nice and grippy. This actually looks very nice. It looks very cool. I might just have to keep that and set it up behind me. Something we haven't talked about yet. How much do you think this weighs? Okay, have your guess. All right. Three pounds, six ounces. That's just for this part of the talon. So we can directly compare this to our regular chuck rotary. This guy. It's heavy. Nine pounds, 14 ounces for this guy. Three pounds, six ounces for this guy. I don't think I'll ever use this again. There might be a special use case scenario for it. I'll keep it around, but there is no way I'm going to go and pick that up when I have this available. That's for darn sure. The first major advantage of this is the weight. All right, and even if I add the aluminum extrusions that make up the base for the talon to use in the CO2 gantry or on a fiber, it's still five pounds, three ounces. That's all, it's four pounds, it's four pounds less than this, even with the whole base support system. Another thing with the Talon, how about a veteran owned business? Hmm? USA based veteran owned business. Okay, there's two major advantages. 
Then we look at the ease at which you can spin this guy and close the jaws. One-handed operation to loosen. If you happen to need to uh, loosen it up, it locks in place. You can you loosen it up that way. You can use it with or without the base, which is here. So you've got a multi-function rotary that will work in a CO2 gantry or on a galbo table. And I'm just getting started with this. This is the first time I've ever experienced a Rotoboss laser. I did not look up Rotoboss lasers beforehand. I didn't learn anything about it. I wanted to open it up and use it as if I knew nothing. And that's pretty much what I knew. It was intuitive. I was able to figure out what each piece was for without consulting the manual um, and basically how to use them, all the different accessories. I am impressed. So my initial impression is extremely positive. We'll just leave it at that. I'm going to do some more videos. I'm going to use it in the gantry. I've got a couple other ideas to use with the Galvo. So I'll get to those. But overall, this is a great rotary from this first initial two hours with it. Um, yeah, so right now it's two thumbs up. I think I'm going to come back in the next video and use the fiber on glass. I tried it and my fiber wasn't set up correctly. So I just gave up on that and went to the UV. But I am going to do the fiber laser glass with the rotary and see how that turns out. It should be a fun video. And I'll definitely have a gantry video and maybe a few more. But this makes me not hate rotaries again, as far as this first day with it. I'm very happy. Let me know what you think about Rotoboss, if you have one. Let me know if you have any questions about Rotoboss rotaries. Leave a comment, and uh, if I can't answer it, I'll get the right person to answer it for you. Because I'm sure Jason will be checking in on the comments on this video. So if you have any questions, drop them down there for him. I greatly appreciate all my patrons who support this channel, all my channel members who support this channel. Thank you so much. You guys keep me motivated to make new videos, buy more testing material, testing supplies so I can get more videos out to you guys for all kinds of different stuff. If you have any ideas for future videos, please leave me a comment. I've got a list and I'm going to try to get to every last one of them. That is a mission. I hope my list never gets finished but i will get to all videos on the list i don't know if those two things are compatible but i'll try um and thank you channel members you support me just like the patrons do i greatly appreciate you i do not want to forget to mention you today and that's all i have i need to go catch up on a couple orders after vacation get things cleaned up and probably the next video I'm going to do is going to be my portable setup that I used while I was at the beach. So if you missed that, go check the live stream on my channel from, it would have been August 10th, the evening of August 10th. I was actually in the hotel room using the laser live streaming with the family in the other part of the hotel room. And it worked out great. They couldn't smell anything. I couldn't smell anything. So I'm going to do a video on that and show you guys exactly how I had it set up. But enough of video talk. Most importantly, everyone, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.